What's up, YouTube? James here, and welcome to episode 28 of my Anno 1800 Let's Play featuring all of the DLC. So, I kind of made a boo-boo. I, um, I tried to record an episode on Monday, and basically I didn't press the right hotkey to hit record, and I didn't have uh, OBS up uh, to notice. So, I kind of did a whole episode uh, without recording. Sorry about that. Um, and I didn't revert the save because... I thought about it, and really all I did was add a add a trade route. I removed um, the advanced weapons from my previous trade route because uh, somebody commented uh, that it was that it was basically because of the advanced weapons and the gold buying. Um, the reason that that was the reason why I was going broke, basically. Um, but anyway, so I set up the island of Skyathos here. I kind of uh, I've been setting up the docklands here to kind of look better. So I have that going for me. The attractiveness is looking really good here. I made some more farmers. Um, I put a commuter pier here so that so that the movement um, between islands is good, but there's only one between here and Crown Falls. So there's only two islands linked up. But also I brought some items here and I made this into kind of a beer gathering place. If you notice, I do have quite a bit of beer. It's greatly increasing by plus 11. But what I did is I created, uh, basically, wait, there's no tractor barn here. That's strange. Maybe I'll blueprint it. Oh, I was waiting on steel beams, but I'll blueprint it there. Um, so what I was doing is creating these extras. The, the, so this, these wheat fields here basically supply the barley, and then these four hop fields supply all of these. So if you notice, I don't have a hop fertility here, so I'm providing it through the trade union. So I have this trade union, the hybrid hop seeds, uh, this item equipped, productivity plus 25% hop fertility provided, and then brewmaster bill. So this affects schnapps distillery and brewery, but it provides electricity. So, um, and, and subtracts chance of riots. So electricity is supplied to all, all of these. So they're working at pretty close to 200% capacity, but it looks like the malt can't keep up actually, or maybe it can, but I should be, I should be right at level with the malt. Anyways, so I have that, and then also the next item is this one. The potato and hop farms have increased productivity and number of modules. So so these hop farms are getting plus 75%. Um, let's see, 50, 25, yeah. So they're getting extra productivity from that and the tractor barns. So uh, these hop farms are really cooking. And um, we're just making a lot of beer. So I think what I will do is I'll set up a trade route from here to Ann Harlow and just, just basically sell her the beer. That's really all I want to do. Um, and with that, we brought the uh, steel beams here. But so that that's basically what I did in the episode. You know, I spent like an hour or so just kind of rambling and talking about my island here, talking to, and, you know, kind of beautifying it a little bit. I know that you guys, uh, you know, that you do like that stuff. And uh, I apologize that I wasn't able to um, record that one. But I did think that... Uh, that you could be spared this just a little bit. <laughs> so um, I'm going to get that tractor barn going. Um, and now this will be producing at full capacity here. And I thought that maybe I could get more use out of the trade union um, simply by putting a couple hop farms here. That, But that's only if I want to increase the beer production. Um, but I, I wouldn't mind kind of avoiding that. So just for now at least. So, um, so I did kind of want to mess around with the import-export here as well. So here, I wanted to export beer and import something else. Let's just choose it this way, because I think, yeah. Okay, so maybe I could export beer and import something else. Um, but actually, no, I wanted to sell this beer to um, to Ann Harlow. So do I have a spare? I think this is my spare, uh, the Cruddy Snark. So yeah, let's set up a trade rope of um, the Cruddy Snark. I just want to start selling this beer, you know. Um, let's start out with uh, let's go with Skyathos and then the Old World um, and Harlow. Let's load. Uh, how about fifty beer? And we'll start with that and kind of see how it goes. Just as some extra money. Actually, we'll do a hundred. There. So um, so that'll be Crown Falls uh, to the Old World. So we're looking good there. Um, and I did, oh, also I sent a ship on an expedition and that is the passage. So hopefully very, very soon we will be 
we will be ready to um, to be in the Arctic. So um, days in the high seas, 14. Looks like we're really, really getting there. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. Um, looks like it'll take a while to get to the Arctic, but uh, it's going well. And I think you remember on, uh, I think the last episode, we did put in um, this actor here. So I'm thinking I kind of want to find some more items for the town hall. Um, effects hospitals, doctors. I did want to maybe find a few more things. Johan the Inventor, I already have him equipped. Chance of illness, chance of riots. Effects scholars, bonus research points. Oh, that might be really nice to have, actually. I really do want to get going on the, um, on the, on the Mbessa stuff as well. But I think the Arctic will really be useful to have going before I get to Mbessa. So, also, um, I did place the... This is Isle Royale. Let's go to Cape Trelawney, Crown Falls. So I did place um, the World's Fair up here because I was hoping to kind of create a nice little investor area. Um, and I think that might be kind of what's on the agenda for this episode while I'm waiting for that expedition to go. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, so it looks like it's kind of, yeah, similar to Ambassa here. Um, I won't read this this text unless, um, you know, you say you want me to for the Ambessa one, but... Um, basically, okay, well, I guess I could read it. It is late summer the, when the expedition reaches the Shilling Sound, and yet the conditions in these icy areas are already challenging. So basically, we're just trying to choose if we go south or west to progress. Um, let's go west. So we'll see what happens here. An Arctic welcome, the first severe blizzard. Save the propellers from the ice. Let's do that with the force here. A little half-hearted initially, the men show willing. Okay. So Captain awaits command. Let's, uh, I put goulash in the ship. So that should be good enough to help them. Provide extra rations and continue. So, um, so what I wanted to do here is, um, put these investors up by the World Fair and then transfer these engineers, uh, right here. Um, but also I wanted to provide, um, a bank. Let's see. I wanted to provide the buildings up there. So it'll have to be the bank, um, the members club, and the electricity. So figuring that out, I think, will be the next big thing. Um, but let's let's blueprint the electricity in here at least. Maybe we'll get. I'm already having. I'm kind of having issues though with the. Um, let's put the right here in the middle. I think. Put it right there for now. Um, but I am having a little bit of issues with this um, train track, and I haven't. I've been thinking about it, and I can't really figure out. See, this uh, this is a little late. Like it drops off plenty of oil, but it's just a little late, um, and I can't really figure out why. I think maybe it's just too many trains going on this one track, you know. But I got rid of this one here. See, look at that. They all they all go in one big stream. Oddly enough. It's like they all go here. I really I really don't understand it. But it causes it causes some fluctuations in my income, which which isn't that big of a deal. Like I'm not I'm not too upset about it. Um it's just it just kinda looks awkward, you know? So um my investors are doing pretty good. I wonder if I can actually upgrade a few here. Engineers. No, my engineers are actually out of uh, sewing machines. And power, so that that's obviously an issue. Um, that is definitely an issue. So maybe we can put a power plant here and here, just to kind of help things along. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I have to solve the um, the sewing machine issue. So let's take a look. So my production is. Um, where are they at? Here. So the production is slightly less, but if you can if you can see here, the green bar is isn't at ten out of ten. So that means not all the not all the sewing machine, machine factories are working. So um, iron and wood go into sewing machines. So we're gonna have to look at the logs here. We have a severe deficit of logs. Um, maybe I don't know if I set up the trade route to bring logs here, but um, if you look here. We're at a deficit of coal, but not of iron. 
So let's go look here. Intermediate products right here. So the supply is uh, pretty, pretty much stripped. It's, it's not good of steel, right? It's just not. So I think we might need more furnaces. Well, there's one here. So I'll upgrade that one. But that will have electricity. So let's check out the, um, the coal and iron stock levels here. But I am bringing in quite a bit of coal. So um, iron is looking good. Coal is decreasing by quite a bit. Um, so maybe we can maybe we can work on some coal deposits here. I think we we might be able to add coal to the uh, to Skyathos here, so that we can at least um, have a little surplus going, or you know whatever it is, um, and we can trade it. We can trade the surplus to Crown Falls, or I can just make steel here. You know, either way, we will figure it out. Let's build another one. Looking, looking like I need a, see this, I don't want it to have to travel all the way there for the warehouse, so I'll put the warehouse right here. And then let's go to the, oh, iron deposit here, but I don't have any warehouse really nearby. Um, so I can do this. I can put one there and then put these brick roads kind of like this. And then bring it over this way, this way, okay. Looking good. I love this music. I can't get over how good this music is, you know. Alright, so... There, we got the iron going. Um, we actually have a third one here, too. But I'll, I'll just skip on that for now. Um, but I could actually make steel here, although it probably... Well, if I put a power plant here... It would actually look really good. Oh, Arctic again. Baffling Island. Sir cries a lookout. Dark shapes on the ridge. A group climb the icy escarpment. At the top they find a com companionable trio of driftwood boards plugged into three-man sized heaps of snow. Sunlight hits the scritchings in the wood. Sacred to memory of Joseph Brain. Okay. Um, dip the graves no matter the, no matter the crew fears. No, just search around them. I don't want to dig up graves. That's just weird. Circle along the island to the west coast. You know what? Let's just keep going, uh, let's keep going west. Of Terrier Island. Okay. So let's provide rations and continue. So the morale on the ship is already pretty high, so I'm not too worried about it. And also, um, I thought, for some reason I was confused, I thought that, that, um, that railway was part of the road system, but it wasn't. So I'll just have to bring it up this way. I kind of like the having the road like beside the railway. Looks pretty cool. And then and then like the bridge like right here off to the side. I like it. So we do have uh, we do have a couple of clay deposits here going, but um, you know when, when I'm building a lot of stuff like this, it kind of gets I don't know. It kind of it kind of just decreases by a lot. So I don't think um. I think I did show you this, but Sacred Forest here is is quite the uh, the timber grabber, if you know what I mean. Like it's the it's the island for all my timber issues, and um, I do want to go here. Okay, so that's that's New World logs. Um, okay, so right, yeah, right here, this is the trade route for it. Um, let's click on it. Maybe move it kind of like this. Move that one. Yeah, I can't really. I guess that'll do. That'll do for now. Um, but yeah, so I'm providing enough logs, but not enough steel. So what I want to do is make. I can make some steel here too in Jamestown, actually. Um, but Jamestown's not really like a focus at the moment. Naxos probably will be. Actually, I'll, I'll make. I'll probably be making a lot of um, beef and peppers here to kind of supplement a little better. So, um, Skyathos here, I want to make a power plant and then um, kind of have a little bit of a steel industry here. And then also, yeah, I, I guess electricity wouldn't really help here because these clay pits pr produce that one for one. Oh, this, is a, this clay pit's actually enhanced by electricity. So that would be kind of cool to have a power plant then right here. 
Um, I would just have to put it maybe, you know, I could put it right here. I think that would actually look pretty good too. All I would have to do is uh, loop, um, loop the train track uh, over this way. Or I could just split split it off like this and then have it side by side and have it dedicated uh, to the power plant there. So yeah, I think that might be a pretty good idea for now. Um, so that ship is bringing some cigars back, I'm guessing. Um, so let's take the Argo here. I'm looking for some bricks. That, that one has 61. This one, so Jamestown has quite a few bricks actually. Um, I'll just grab them here. I'm not, I'm not using them all there anyway. So, I'll probably just grab actually all of them. So, um, that's on the way. In the meantime, um, I have plenty of steel beams. So I think what I can do, um, I'll edit the train track later, but I did just want to split off this one. Um, that might cause issue, actually. Because this one splits off to that, that's dedicated. Um, how about, yeah, I might have to dedicate it. Because just, just from learning from the train track issues from before, um, I'm not going to dedicate it. But if, if we have train track issues really bad, then I will. I will absolutely uh, take care of it. So, um, and actually, you know what? I don't need it to be like that. I've been watching uh, other people's playthroughs and they just kind of have the train going in like just like that. And you don't you don't need like... You don't need a track on the other side, coming out the other side, and it provides it just fine here. So um, I wanted to put it here and then bring this one here. And then that should provide actually um, the power for these two. And the bricks will just flow like crazy, I think, after that. Um, my ship is almost there already to, the, to Jamestown to pick that stuff up. So I think what I want to do is uh so i have coal and everything coming in here so i wanted to do this how about we just uh we'll put two in here and that might be enough to consume every 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 single bit of um of coal and iron that i'm producing um we'll find out for sure soon oh arctic requires my attention again hopefully i'll be getting there soon uh, the west coast of Terra Island is snuggled with monstrous horns of ice. Navigation is going to be tricky. Will the narrows lead back once more to open the water, or will your ship end up stuck? You can navigate carefully, get a better view of the channels from a nearby rock, or send scouts ahead and rowboats to sea. So finding a path through the narrows is hugely successful for us. Um, plus 60%. So I think that's, I think that's the choice here. Um, all right, we reached the open sea on the other side. Oh my goodness, we're here already. So I've never actually never seen this before, so I'd like to watch this cinematic. We shouldn't expect to find them right away. So we're searching for her husband. That's the whole mission here. That's why we're here. It's been two years. The Admiralty say they've tried everything. But then they haven't lost a husband. True that, Lady Faithful. True that. The whales. I love this game, man. It's just <laughs> The music, everything, the story. I like it. I like it all. I don't care if it's... um. I like this game a lot. I don't care if it's not the most hot, popular, trendy thing. Like, it's, it's so fun, you know? It's like, the cinematics are good, the music's good, the gameplay's good. Like, it's it's chill. I, I play a lot of uh, Escape from Tarkov, and um, that's a lot of stress. This is not stress at all. So anyways, we're here in the Arctic. So check out this ship too, like look at these items. I have a lot of really good items here. This ship is, is ready to fight. <laughs> um, rewards me for my progress. Oh, I got some money from her. Click on Sir John's old trading post to take it over. Okay. Sir John's abandoned camp. Of storage facilities. Okay, so I'll select the object. Completely empty now. Okay, so I'm just gonna select all of them. Okay. 
Oh, so I see what we're doing here, where, um... Yeah. Oh, this is a heap of stones in the camp. Sir John's long, um, logbook tells you to start by building shelters and a canteen first. Okay. Um, let's read Sir John's book first. I want to take a look at that. Made a group of Inuit to the northwest. They were reluctant at first, but later approached us to trade for iron. They offered us dead seals, which, oh, of course, maybe OC means of course, we civilly declined. Having enough fine canned food aboard sticks and Hades to last a lifetime, but instead they may know of a route to the Northwest Passage. The Inuit led us to a channel heading deeper into the ice. The Inuit look worried, but our instruments report freezes thinning by the day. Time for our mighty icebreakers to prove their prowess. Soon we shall first to cut. Should be the first to cut the miracle shipping canal bridging east and west. We set out tomorrow. Interesting. Okay. Um, find the Inuit by studying Sir John's log. So I think they'll be up to the northwest here. Um, but l let's get our ship going here. Um, oh, Unsettled Island here. Look at this. So let's take a, check out these fertilities. Uh, forest, whale abundance, caribou, bear, and fur. And it has gold as well. Interesting. So I hear that certain industries here are a little more efficient than others. Like gold, I think, is uh, more efficient. It's like faster and cheaper or something. Um, so we have old Nate here as well. He has a picture of himself <laughs> on the island. Um, okay, so um, we have... Oh, Skythos, yes. Uh, I do need to build a hospital. But I don't have enough bricks yet. Let's put the hospital um, right here with all the other public services. We'll put it next to the church. I think that's fitting. Um, so let's go here. Grab all these bricks from Jamestown. All right, we'll bring them back to Skyathos. See, my trade post is on the other side for um, for shipments coming from the New World, and then um, for everything else, the Docklands is facing uh, Crown Falls uh, to the north, to the northeast of, uh, of the island here. So it's looking pretty good. Um, the engineer workforce is a little low. Because I probably am still dealing with, yeah, I'm still dealing with sewing machine shortage here. And of course I'm dealing with this problem too. It's driving me crazy. I don't understand why that's happening. I, I wish I knew. And see, this is missing oil too. Like, the, the oil is just all screwed up here. I think it's because there's too many tracks coming off here. I really think that might be it. Like if I put my oil here, I think it, I think it might turn out a little better. I don't know. Um, let's put this guy in there. Um, but the oil, the, so the oil is in there. The oil's unloading here. So electricity should be okay. Electricity is going now. Um. It just the, the sewing machines are still having issues. Okay, so steel. All right, I'm gonna start making steel at um at Skyathos. Hopefully, that solves the issue, or at least it'll be close to solving the issue. It'll, it'll help. Um, so let's make let's make uh, some roads here. I really want to work to fix this issue so I can upgrade to some more investors. Um, so we'll put it... Uh... Oh, I forgot I can't make any more bricks here because I have none. Um, let's go back to um, the Arctic. Looks like our ship is here. Okay, so that's Lady Jane's Clipper. Um, so what do we need to do here? We need to find the Inulog by studying, find the Inuit. Um, and the Inuit, like, they want me to be, it's probably northwest of this, uh, this island, not, like, of the island in general. Like, inside the island, it's probably outside. So I have to build a canteen and an explorer shelter. 
So let's look here. The canteen uh, provides a public service to your residents um, on these roads. Explorer shelter. Oh, explorer shelters are like the houses. Okay, small warehouse is the same. Heater. Timber. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's start by making the canteen. I guess this kind of serves like the market, you know, of uh, other areas. So let's blueprint this first. The Arctic music is amazing. Okay. So, um, let's kind of build these in an interesting way. Let's build them kind of like this. Let's build two. Let's build two by three, two by three. Build one there. So I wonder how my um, how much population I can fit here. I'll build one road come in here like this. Build the road like that. Let's upgrade this. There. Fighting the cold. Build one heater, charcoal kiln. Um, okay. So, um... I do need to get timber going as well. I need to make sure that I actually have enough. Um, oh, I need more explorers. Okay. Okay, I'm only going to build two more there. Let's build the heater. The charcoal kiln. Um, let's put it uh, kind of kind of a place that's... We'll put it right... But we put it there. Yeah, it takes 30 seconds for one. All right, so let's make it there. I wonder if I can make another one too. Let's um, well, let's upgrade this one for sure. And then so that one. I guess it wouldn't matter too much if I put another one there. Just so I have enough charcoal. Um, and some people, are, I think I saw that some people were saying it, it's like a little more efficient to um, to just import it from the old world. And if that's the case, then I can just um, make some more charcoal mines on one of my islands, you know, and go from there. So let's upgrade that warehouse and then let's, let's go kind of like this. Maybe we can make some more charcoal over here, but um, just wanted to make the road kind of like that. And then make this road kind of go this way. And then bring it down over here. Snake it along the side. There. Now it connects to the harbor. Um, so let's put maybe, maybe we'll put the heater kind of like right here. Or put it in the middle. And yeah, maybe the middle would be best, you know? Like, delete these. Cause I'm just not sure, like... How about like that? I think this house would be covered by the heat. But I wonder if this heater... Does it need to go... Okay, so it's going to pick up the coal from here, maybe? Oh no, it's gonna pick it up from the uh, from the trading post there. So okay, and then it has the pipes going through the roads. Okay, looks good. So cultivation area ninety two percent. This one's still working. It's about to go right now. Ninety three. Okay. Not too shabby, I guess. So how about we um, make some more wood over? We'll put wood over here, I think. Ninety-eight, 100% there, okay. That's fine with me. Then this is gold. Oh, these have to have heat. 
Wow, the the lumber need okay. A bold new expedition. Let's put um let's put the warehouse here. And the heater. Put the heater like no. The warehouse doesn't need the heater, so this can go there. Okay. So this has to deliver. Okay, I, I'm trying to figure out like, so that is missing heat. And then this one, I wonder why the, why is that thing going over here? It doesn't make any sense. Build your buildings close to a heater. Yeah, there, there's one here. But why is that? Why is that guy going this way? Weird. I do have some coal. I'm just confused why this one's going all the way over here. Well, whatever. I do have a warehouse right here, so hopefully that that like matters for something. Um, let's put one. Put one right here. Then we'll put a, uh, oh, yeah, we need more population actually. Okay. So now they have heat, but they will need pemmican soon. And pemmican. Okay. I have to unlock a, wait, unlock explorers or I need to have a hundred explorers. Okay. And oil lamps. All right, cool. So the Arctic is interesting. This is, um, I love the music. The environment's a little strange, and then this is like, this has, this guy has coal with him. So I guess he's bringing it all the way here. And those two will get to work. So we will, um, put, I don't know. I guess we'll put, um, we'll put one right here. One timber guy here. Yeah, I know it. I know it's uh, gonna take away from the workers. Keep the heaters well supplied with coal. Yep. So this one, this one's going, buddy. You don't need to fret about that. Um. So okay. I guess I'll go kind of to the northwest and figure this out up here. Kumak and the Inuit. Okay. So let's go to Cape Trelawney and then um, go back here. Let's drop off this. Uh... Wait a second. Does my ship have the plague? Hey, look at this. What in the world? How does a ship catch the plague? Does it kill the ship? Oh, clears up in 20 seconds. Okay, let's get it away. Let's get it away. Put it over there. Um, so now we have enough bricks here to make a power plant. So there we go. Now let's check the production of the steel. So we'll be making four steel. Um, so the oil is not actually in here yet. So let's check um, on the production of the raw goods here. So we, okay, we're. I think we actually might be good um, here for the double because we're producing eight of both uh, coal and or er, coal and iron. So I think that actually might end up pretty good. All right, so they lack requisite materials, yes, but I hope that the train comes and drops off oil there. I know this one's, that train will need to be independent of this one. Actually, you know, I, let, let me do this. Let's, um, let's bring this track here and just bring it like this then bring it up here to link there and then what I want to do is um, get rid of this wait get rid of this link here and just go like that there we go 
now they're separate. So um, so this can actually go ahead and this can go ahead and send a train out. All right. So we're already we're already making steel here. That's good. New island has been discovered in the Arctic, I'm sure. Um, so let's go back up here. Yes, we do have electricity. Sewing machines are not really doing the greatest. But I, I have thought about moving these um, moving these investors, which I really I, I really do want to do it, but I don't like how the uh, how the power the power is having issues and I'm just not not so happy about that. These ones can upgrade if if I just was able to keep the sewing machine steady. But I think I could produce some sewing machines here. I should just produce them here, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think I will. Um, missing Earl Trek to Harbor, what? Wait, is it not connected here? Oh, construction area blocked, what? I did not mean to do that. Missing railway track to Oil Harbor. I thought I thought this this is good enough, right? Let's link up the uh, road again. So do I need to? Let's go here. Um, workforce explore workforce in King William. Yeah, I know about it. No, I don't need that. Railway track to Oil Harbor. It's there, it's there. Oh, I didn't link it here. That's, okay, that's the issue. Okay. That's the issue. I always miss those little tiny details, you know? But yeah, let's, let's, um, let's get rid of this here. Okay. Now it's just missing goods. It's not, it's not missing the oil track to Harbor. <laughs> Or the track to the oil harbor, you know. There. Now that's that's gone. Um, so hopefully now I can actually get some industry going here. Um, so this is going. Actually, no, it's not. But the, these ones right here will actually uh, go crazy once, uh, once the electricity gets going here. There. So I'm really liking this island already. Let's go back to the Arctic and kind of fix it a bit. Oh yeah, new island. Oh, that's an unsettled island, but that's all... Oh, gas. Look at that. Oh, so you get gas from the glaciers. I see. Okay, that's cool. King William Island is still struggling. Um, so insufficient workforce. This one is missing heat. Oh. There. Now it should have heat. Insufficient workforce, yeah, but um, it's something. I just need to build timber here. Okay, so um, it's a slow start on King William Island. I, I will say that it's a slow start. But um, let's go back to Cape Trelawney. Um, let's get this going here. I want I want to see oil get there. A smuggling quest. I'm sorry. Not for now. No, no, no. So I'm really, really looking for the oil here. Is it is it picking up 65 to take it here? Or is it taking it here? There's already a train here. Right? Well, that, that one's taking it there. So this one will be... Okay, so this one will be the 65. Okay. Okay, not bad. Um, so I am producing still quite a bit of beer. Where's my beer route? Um, here it is. Let's look at this one. Oh, is it on its way back? Yeah, the Cruddy Shark is on its way back. So I'm actually building enough... I'm making enough beer to sell more of it. So let's go back those routes. Um, let's load... 
I'm just going to sell a little bit more. Um, I, but I thought about providing it to Crown Falls as well. I wonder, what, what's the demand of beer in Crown Falls? So I, if I can produce it in Skyathos, I don't even need to... I don't even need to make it in Crown Falls. Also, Crown Falls actually does have a little bit of a shortage, but the demand is nine. And I'm making actually 11. So. And I can make more at Skythos. I actually can. So I can put, um, I can put a hop farm here, and then put one here, and then here and here, and then just move the wheat up. And then make a few more wheat farms here. Okay, so I actually do have nine timber now here. Um, let's make that one. Let's blueprint a few. Let's uh, let's make these kind of on the edge of the mountain. There. I think that'll look pretty cool. There we go. And one more. Cool. And then maybe, uh, oh yeah, we need 50 of them to actually get going on like uh, on, the others, on the other demands. So let's just kind of pause it for now. Oh, I sent my ship all the way up here. Let's send it all the way to the north of the map here. Keep Trelawney. So do we have, ah, yes, the, elect the electricity is flowing. Um, these are producing so. Let's check it out. Raw materials, yep. Eight out of eight for both, perfect. And then these are producing like crazy, perfect. All right. So we're in business here for the steel. Um, and we're not using the steel yet, but um, we will be. So where did I put my timber? Put my timber operation. Oh, I think I put it over here in this corner. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, that's fine. I have four going here. So, um, how about I put down... Actually, you know what? I want to find an item that... Let, let's check my items. I want to find an item that increases... Um, pro, oh no, I don't... Because if I increase productivity, I'd run out of materials. Um... Because I just don't have enough natural resources here. Well, I could make a couple coal deposits. This one only has one. This one has two. Jamestown has two. So actually, Jamestown could do... That's zinc. Iron, coal. Coal, iron. Okay, so all of these could work in conjunction together. I think that would be, like... I think that's ideal. So I can make a surplus of it here, trade it to Skyathos, and then um, have a nice little surplus there. Just make a whole bunch of steel. So I could kind of replace some industry, you know. Um, so Jamestown, okay. So all I have to do is make the uh, make the road kind of go this way. There we go. Festival of Mackinac, of course. Mackinac has been a pretty good, uh, pretty nice spot. Let's just put it here. It's just nice and close, you know. Build mine. Build mine. And they really don't cost much either to build. They cost a little bit of upkeep, but it's fine. All right, perfect. All right, so I'm pulling in a lot of uh, coal and iron. And then Skythos is just going to be producing a lot of steel. So I don't, I don't obviously don't want the steel to cap out. What I want to do is um, actually make use out of it. So let's make some sewing machines. And I think I want to put them here. Let's make two of them for now. So that's gonna take, okay, that's not bad. This is an exception. 
All right, so let's look at the production of my sewing machines. So uh, production is eight. And the overall production of, um, let's see, of intermediate is eight. So demand matches perfectly. And I can bring these sewing machines here to, um, I can take these sewing machines and complement it at, uh, at Crown Falls. Well, it can complement the production at Crown Falls. It shouldn't replace it and it won't replace it, but it'll at least help, you know? So, okay, Jamestown is gonna be bringing in extras. So I can trade that surplus here and actually make another furnace and another sewing machine factory. So, I have a battle cruiser. Let's see, do I have any extra? So the Argo is for transporting stuff to other islands, like as, as I need. So I think what I wanna do is build a cargo ship. Let's build two of them actually. Or actually, Sir Archie might have um, a cargo ship for me to buy. Yes, he does. Archie's always got the hookup. Yeah, so he doesn't have really any sewing, because <laughs> I'm buying all of his sewing machines, so let's buy the bricks and the uh, steel beams. Does he have any cool items? Oh, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't buy them, because when activated, yeah, I can't, I can't buy any because my inventory is full, but I can buy... Maybe a cool ship item for it. Like a propeller. A propeller would be really cool. There we go. There. Now it'll be faster. Um, let's send this to Skyathos. Because I wanted this one to be um, for the trade between Skyathos and Jamestown. So let's go to um, the Arctic. I know I've kind of abandoned the New World um, at this point, but... It's just kind of how it is once I start getting all these extra lands to be at. You know. So, looks like I have heat coming, going all the way down there. I kind of wanted to do... Okay, so... Yeah, so that kind of doesn't work well, does it? Those on the edge. How about this? If I moved it... If I moved one there, moved one there in the middle, I could probably fit more in here. But then again, the heater would take up more space. Well, I can just leave that. Actually, these are just blueprints anyway. So you know what? Let's just take it out for now. Let's go to... Um, We'll put the other one there. Put the other one here. There, that, that looks a little better. I just wanted to have them kind of nestled up against the mountain. I think that I think it looks cool that way, and it kind of adds some uh, some variety to the houses here. There we go. So these these actually all do have heat. It's perfect. Let's put one there. I think the heat could reach here too. Yeah. There we go. And that probably raises like some of the dem um, demands on the heater maybe. Processing time 30 current process. Okay, it's got perfect productivity. It's going pretty good. So this heater is going well too. Um, I only have two or one sawmill at the moment, but I could could make one more. I think that'd be fine. It only makes this productivity 93%, so it's no big deal. But I do have a surplus of logs here, so. Oh, so we have to find the Inuit. So let's find the Inuit. Um, looks like there's a giant glacier up here. Let's actually go this way, to this corner. Let's go to Cape Trelawney. Yeah, I actually, I actually love being in the Arctic. Um, 
it's it's cool because there's like there's new stuff you know there's new buildings and you know new resources to gather all that stuff so the cargo ship will be on the way But the engineers are the ones that need the... Okay, so actually some of them do have sewing machines right now. Which is awesome. So engineers... Yeah, I knew that would happen. I just want to get more investors. Okay. Now I know I need a absolute ton of um, engineers now, but that's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it figured out. All right, getting a lot of workers. Now we need to upgrade some workers to... Wait, why don't, why don't these... Oh, they need bread. Okay. They need bread and then school. Okay, well, we'll fix that. How about your school? We'll go right here. Or right here. Oh, it's too big. <laughs> okay. I'll well, we'll put it right here for now. There. So there's the school. Um, and now bread. So where is my bread industry? It's probably all the way up here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to upgrade what workers I can for now. And then... Let's see. Where are they? Why, don't, why can't I upgrade these workers? Oh, it's it's all because it's it's bread everywhere. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just kind of losing it. So, um, what am I producing of a sur as a surplus here? You know, I think I kind of want to do like a just a new bread layout for here, or produce it somewhere else. I mean, that would be nice too, like Skyathos, right? I mean, that would make sense because I'm making all this extra wheat. Yeah, I, I mean, how much extra wheat am I making? Yeah, I'm still making quite a bit extra, so I could technically produce a bit of bread. So how about we give it a shot, and then I'll trade some bread to, um, to Crown Falls from here. Is the flour mill affected by electricity? Yes, it is. Interesting. Okay. How about we do this? Um, let's put it... Uh, let's put this right here. And then, let's check on the production of the flour. Um, intermediate products, flour. Okay, so this makes four. Let's check on the demand of that. Okay, it's right at par then. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So let's put this right there. Um, so how about we put the bread, put one here, put one here, and maybe there. We'll see how this goes. And I wonder if, um, no, no, not now. Um, I wonder if, if the bread, uh, um, let's look at the demand on. Okay, so actually this is on point right here. Or no, that's, that's a malt. Whoops, that's the flour. So we need to produce a little more flour, but we also need more wheat for that. Okay. So let's do another wheat farm then. Screw it, right? Um, let's uh, copy this guy here. There we go. And then, um, oh yeah, I do need to have access to that tractor or to the uh, fuel guy there. So how far down does he go? Oh, I think he, I think he might go all the way here. Okay, how about we do that? Then we'll put the um, the warehouse here. Oh, 
Okay. And this, this tractor barn will take it all the way. All right, it's bringing 10 fuel there. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so now the wheat should be coming in nice. All right. As soon as soon as uh, as soon as this gets in here, um, what's this? It's producing productivity, potato farm and hop farm. Okay. All right, so come on. Now we're gonna get okay. Perfect. Now we got the tractor going. So now let's check our production of wheat. Production. Okay, so now we're at sixteen. So let's go ahead and put down. Um, let's put down another flour mill. And how about we do it right here? Another flour mill. So um, now the demand on wheat should be right at par. Okay, yeah, it is. It sure is. Intermediate products, flour. Okay, so the demand. Okay, so we can make one more. I think we can make one more bakery. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make one more bakery. We'll put it here, though. Then what we'll do... Yes, I know I'm aware of that shortage. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Let's put another warehouse here. I, I just kind of want to do that because... Uh, because that warehouse is going to get a bit overloaded. I know it will. Okay, so... Now, now let's upgrade, um, let's upgrade some more farmers, I think would be good. But we need to do workers, so actually, you know what I could do? I am making bread here at Skyathos, yep, but um, yeah, so I will need to actually trade. So this guy, alright, let's drop this stuff off. Steel beams and bricks are going there. Um, so I need to bring here... Okay. Um, let's create a route. Let's put this, uh, where's that one with the one Snapdragon? Okay, from Skyathos to Crown Falls. I just want to bring bread, you know? And maybe some beer. Okay. Now, um, did I, did I cancel all my production? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, my critical workforce is uh, engineers. So you know what? Uh, you know what, I'll just wait for this to fix itself because I am, I'm making a lot of bread here. So yeah, what am I, what am I actually making here of bread? Um, eight. So yeah, not bad. I'll be making quite a bit. And by time, by time it gets back, I'll be all good to go. Um, let's go to the old world and see what am I making in Isle Royale for bread. My analysis it's probably pretty good, actually. It's probably a surplus. Yeah, making a ton of it, of course. Um, so do I have uh, an extra cargo ship here? Well, I will, right? <laughs> Oh, Archie doesn't have one for me. Dang. Maybe Miss Ann Harlow has a steamer for me. Nope, she doesn't. What about the new world? Let's check out um, Jean La Fortune. Nope, he doesn't have one. That's okay. So, that's alright. Um, where is... So I could have a clipper. Nah, I won't do that. Oh, who's at war? George? Really? Oh, must be George and uh, Hugo. Wow, I can't believe he's attacking this side. It's interesting. He's not going to attack this side, obviously. Interesting, okay. Um, So let's... Archie... I wish Archie had a cargo ship for me. Dang. That's alright, that'll fix itself. Let's go back to the Arctic. Um... I do need to kind of go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to explore more of this area, but King William Island. Let's kind of look at what we need. We need pemmican. 
So I think to make pemmican, we need a whaling station and caribou hunting station. So pemmican must be, I'm going to Google that later. I don't know what pemmican actually is. It looks like maybe it's some sort of, um, I don't know, maybe an oily kind of, maybe a salted dry meat, maybe. I don't know. I could make a whaling station here. And it looks like it'll be heated. So there's the whaling station. Um, caribou hunting cabin. Oh, that takes 25 population. Yikes. Um, so let's work on some more population then. Okay, so that kind of goes... I wonder if it'll extend here. I was thinking maybe I can do something like this. And I think if this road goes as far as I think it does, or if the heat goes as far as I think it does, okay. It actually doesn't go all the way out, but that's okay. But I like how like the, the pipes here in the road will actually show you how far out you can go. It's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, I should just import coal from the new world. I think I think that's what I'll do. Or from the uh, the old world. Because if I go... Let's go to the old world. This island actually makes quite a bit of coal here. This one has three. And it probably has a nice... Oh, it doesn't really have a surplus. It has a surplus of iron, but not coal. I wonder why. Um, oh, I'm picking it up here. I'm making a ton of it. And that is because um, Isle Royale doesn't really have access to it like I want. So there's one. Okay, there's one coal here. I should just make this. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's uh, I think it is a wise idea to import coal from the from the old world. I just need to have an island that that has a lot of it. I have two of it here. I don't know if I have a surplus. No, I don't have a surplus because I'm using it at IO Real, like big time. There's one here. He doesn't have any coal there. Hugo has some. Oh, this this one, George Smith's Island here has uh, has quite a bit. Has three. Man, I could use this. If I took this from him, that'd be that'd be kind of nice. Um, let's check in Cape Trelawney. I might have an island here. This has two. That's too. Yeah, Jamestown. Jamestown is actually going to be actually has quite a bit. I could set up a route for Jamestown. Actually, Skull. Skull has plenty of it. I wonder why did I set this up here? So both of those are going. The iron's not going. But what I could do. So this is yeah. This is part of the fur. But uh, what I could do is actually, um, I, could tra I could trade it from a number of places. So what I think I'll do is just uh, just have it come from Jamestown all the way up there, you know? Um, is bread going okay here? Yeah, it is. So let's upgrade some workers. Just wanted to get enough for um, upgrading artisans. And there we go. So I might have actually, uh, I will have some demand issues, I'm sure. And I hope I'll be able to fix that pretty easily. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to overdo it with the engineers. There. Now I just need to upgrade some more workers. Um, because I don't want to be that short on them. Okay. Okay. That, that'll have to be it for a while. Um, so I don't even want to look at my demands here. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be awful. <laughs> um, but, we, but we're making... Um, oh, what's going on here? Hugo Mercier, is he at war with me again? Oh, no, that's, that's, uh, that's George's. <laughs> that's George's. Okay. Um, so Skyathos has a festival. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So my, my income without propaganda is up to 60k. That's amazing. That's really good, in my opinion. So, um, 
I think we did pretty good in this episode, I must say. Um, I, I do want to check uh, the old world for another cargo ship if if uh, Archie Buddy Boy has them for sale or, or an extravaganza steamer, but no, I don't see them here. That's okay. I just want to get a cargo ship to uh, get, start getting some coal up to the new world. But I am making one right here, so that's coming. Let me fast forward that a bit. So let's take a look and see what our bread's looking like here. I'm obviously trading it, so, you know, it's going to be low. Um, steel beams, yeah, I just deposited a whole bunch of them, but I'm making steel here. And, uh, yeah, so the sewing machines are going nuts, of course. Um, so sewing machines is something I can uh, supplement. I can supplement... Um, crown falls with them so I think that'll work out pretty well so I do have a lot of farmers here I can upgrade some workers I can even get some artisans going here but I don't I don't think that's something I really want to do um, but I will make some salt Peter here um, maybe maybe some grape fertility I can make some champagne here too and just export it or sell it either way make some money but yeah the bricks are going nuts here Skythos is something. I, I really like this place because I'm I've like fully optimized it, you know, I've got the power going and everything. Um so it's going it's going really well. Let's go back to the Arctic. I really like the Arctic, man. This is a really, really cool place. Um so I wanted to look at Sir John's log. I will end the episode here in just a minute, but I wanted to um kind of try to find out where he went. Or at least, you know, to the northwest. So, the northwest will be reluctant for a split approach to trade for iron. They offered us dead seals. Okay. To a channel heading deeper into the ice. Okay, so I think, I think, I think where this, where I need to go with this is like up in here. I think there's like an ice passage up here because it says a channel leading deep into the ice. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, Cape Trelawney. Um, oh yeah, I did have a cargo ship made here. So what I wanted to do is bring a ship from Jamestown. Just create a route. <laughs> of course. That's the first step. Create a route. Um, Chennai. From Jamestown to... Um, King William Island. I want to load, um, well, the coal is, oh, I'm not making, I'm actually not using that here, so. And then, wait to unload. There. All right. So now I have a supply chain of um, bringing coal to the Arctic. So that ship is heading up there. Um, this island is interesting. It's not that big, but it's got uh, bear abundance, fur, seal, forest. Okay. This one's a, this is a pretty decent island, actually. This one's not bad. So I need so gas. That's interesting. I haven't used gas before. I wonder. I wonder how much of a a benefit or a boon it is you know to my economy we'll see we will see so um let's bring these uh explorers to the fold and then um how about here actually let's put it there um so this will go to the, yeah, this will go and pick it up. So we can uh, go from here. There we go. Okay, looking good. Then we can upgrade these. There, now we have like a little, a nice little colony going here, you know? 
Um, and these will be heated eventually as soon as I get the coal here. It will be uh, good to go. Let's make, uh, yeah, let's do two, two, two. Yeah, I'm producing enough timber here, so that's good. Looking good. Looking good. We already have quite a bit of population going here. Upgrade. Oh, and you can upgrade the residence. Yeah, I can't wait to do that. That'll look that'll look really nice. So awesome. I have gold coming in. I have or I have a coal coming up here. I have the whaling station going, but I don't have the caribou hunting cabin yet. How about uh it does require heat, so that's a that's a wonderful thing. How about I put it here? It has a hundred percent there. So let's do that. Yeah, there we go. It's got heat. So I wonder what that supply chain actually looks like. So one minute, one minute, and one minute. Okay. It's all one minute. Perfect. All right, so um, we got to the Arctic. We, uh, I showed you kind of what I did in my failed recording episode. Um, we got a whole bunch of bread going here, although I'm not sure how much I need it. I can probably just export for it um, here at Crown Falls. But either way, um, either way, I kind of made, made space for it. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, but we're making sewing machines here too. So I kind of make... Oh, the QMAC, there we go. But I'm making the goods here at Skyathos that uh, need to complement Crown Falls. So, you know, um, I also paused on these sewing machine factories, but it's whatever. It is what it is. Um, and I upgraded a, to quite a few more investors. My income shot up pretty well. So overall, it's, it's looking pretty good. And I'm quite satisfied with what's going on now. Um, for the next episode, or what I might do offline, is actually move a whole bunch of investors up here. Um, start the World Fair, get it going. Um, play around with some exports. I'm not sure. But either way, I want to progress in the Arctic and then move on to Mbessa. So uh, with that being said, thank you so much for stopping by to watch my episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Also, um, if you want to support my channel, if you want to just help me out, just leave a like, uh, subscription, uh, maybe comment, leave me some constructive criticism. Let me know what you think of my, of my content. And uh, I'd appreciate it a lot. And it's free for you and it helps me. So... With that, I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care.